so now we're getting to um, probably my favorite part of making belts, which is the end knot here. So um, the customer generally will have an idea of what they want. Um, this customer said I can do what I want with the end knot, which is my favorite. Um, so I'm going to do uh, an end knot that I don't think I've done a video on. It is my favorite knot. It's the triple helix knot. Now I have a video on the double helix knot. This is almost a cent this is almost the same thing. It's just adding in an additional one here. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is these two purple ones from our cap. We're just going to kind of fold back in here into the middle. And we're going to pull out two silvers. We're going to pull out two blues. Then we're going to pull out two greens. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have one of each color on either side. Then we're going to try and tuck all of the other ones as tightly as we can and keep it nice and clean. Now, I did purple here for the cap. I'm going to do purple at the bottom cap as well. Um, you can kind of do different things here uh, depending on your color scheme. I knew I wanted to use these three colors. Um, for the end knot, so that's why I did the purple here, um, but you can do different color designs there if you want to But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to organize these. I want silver in the middle um, Because I think that would that's what will look best. So I'm gonna do oh, hold on Come here French Bulldog So I'm gonna do blue first and then my silver and then my green. So the important part when you do these knots is you make sure that you do them in order. The blue ones are always going to go over. The, the silver and the green are always going to go under. That will make more sense here in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. So my blue, let's see, let's do this. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Okay. So I'm going to take my blues. They're going over the other two. And essentially, I'm going to do half of a Solomon bar, where I'm going to take this, this, I'm going to make it as a four. My right one is going to go over. My left one is going to go over that end of the four, underneath it all, and through the loop. And then I'm going to pull it tight. Okay. Now, essentially, that's all we're going to be doing for this. Um, but we're just going to do that a whole lot. And you got to make sure that you're doing it on the right side every time um, or the left, either one. Just pick one side and then always stay there, right? So my right one went over. So my next color is going to be silver. So it goes underneath the blue. And we're going to do the same thing. Make the four. Send the other side through. Pull it tight. And then I go back in and pull tight the one that I just did before it. All right, so now it is green's turn. So green's going to go underneath it all. Make the four. Pull it under. Tighten. Then tighten the one above it, probably the one above that, right? So it will start to look better the more you go down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of these and try and push it up towards the top to keep it as tight as I can. All right, so now that is one full rotation of the end knot. So we're going to start with blue. Blue goes over the other two. I'm going to make the four. Go underneath, bring it through, tighten, and then tighten the previous one and the one before that. All right, so blue's done. Now we're going to go silver, which goes under the blue one, make a four, bring it through, tighten it, tighten it. Tighten it. Green is going to go under silver. Make the four. You get the point now.
right. So I think that's about how long I want it to be. Um, you can go and make these longer if you want. Some people will do like a foot or two foot of these. I normally just go for about six inches. Um, so that's the, the end of my triple helix knot. Probably my favorite knot. All right, so now what we're gonna do, this part can be a little tricky. We're gonna take all of, see, can you see that on the screen? So we're gonna take all of these cords that we were just working with, and we're gonna bring them down to the edge. And then we're gonna pull out two purple ones. And we're gonna do the same thing like what we did up above with our cap up here, uh, pretty much for the same reasons. If you don't cap it, it your end knot will slide and it won't work very well. Um, so pretty much for the same reasons here, we're gonna do the same thing, probably gonna do four of them and see how it looks. Um, but what you gotta do with these, if after we make the cap, we have to pull through our working ends or it doesn't look very good. I'll show you here in a second. Let me just, let me just go ahead and do it. Um, so I'm doing a full Solomon bar. I'll do three of them and then adjust and then probably do one or two more just to be, be safe. All right, so if you look at it right now, let me see if I can show you that. So all of these guys up here are not very loose and it look, or they are very loose and it looks really bad. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is go through and pull all of those ends that we were working on. I'm gonna tighten them up and bring them as close to this end knot as I can, uh, this little cap, and then push the cap up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to just grab a hold of these down here and push up. So there we have a cap at the top and at the bottom. Again, this keeps your whole belt together. If you don't do this process, your weave will slide down um, and it just won't look good in the long run. I'm gonna do just a couple of more down here. Four, four to six of these at the end. I think four looks good right here. So then what I'm gonna do, get rid of this. All right. So those two purple ends that I was just working with, I'm gonna separate them off to the side. I'm gonna take all of my other ends here and I'm going to split them in half. So I'm just gonna guess to start with, it looks roughly half and count them out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. First, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two working ends from that Solomon bar. I'm going to put a knot underneath the end knot here. Um, this will, again, keep everything from sliding and keep it in place. Um, then, the only really real upkeep you have to do on this belt is every now and then come back in and tighten this. Up.